ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Terry Meyerson. Thank you. Hello, everyone. It's great to be back together to talk about the next generation of Windows, Windows 10. It's great to see some familiar faces, some new faces, and welcome the many, many more that are joining via webcast today, particularly our Windows insiders. This is the second of several Windows 10 conversations we're planning to have with you, and we've got a lot to share over the next two hours. We're hoping to cover three things. The first, how the feedback we've received, received since introducing Windows 10 is truly helping to shape the future of Windows 10. And then, we will share the most comprehensive view yet of new experiences coming to Windows 10. You'll see Cortana like never before. You'll see entirely new ways of being productive and having fun. And you'll see some amazing new devices enabled by Windows 10. And then Satya will join us to discuss Windows and its importance to Microsoft. Now, we introduced Windows 10 that last September. Let me recap the key points from that discussion. First and foremost, Windows 10 will provide a seamless transition for our Windows 7 and Windows 8 customers, including the familiar desktop and start menu. And Windows 10 will be our best enterprise platform ever, enabling our enterprise customers to be more productive than ever before, simplifying management and deployment for IT, and working seamlessly with the existing enterprise apps. But most importantly, Windows 10 will protect corporate data better than ever. In fact, the hardware-based security of Windows 10 would have countered the te techniques used in several of the recent headline-making attacks. And Windows 10 will support the broadest device family ever. Of course, it will work great on the laptop and the desktop. The most productive devices on the planet with keyboard, mouse, and touch. Our hardware partners are doing amazing work in this area, introducing several new designs at CES, thinner and lighter with amazing screens. The Windows 10 Continuum experience enables these incredible two-in-one devices that switch back and forth between the keyboard mouse mode and the touch tablet mode. Windows 10 on tablets, phablets, and phones will provide the best mobile experience for our Windows and Xbox users. With Windows 10, universal Windows apps come to Xbox One, the most fun game console ever. And Windows 10 has support for today's maker boards, enabling makers to do incredible things with Windows in the fast-growing Internet of Things space. Windows 10 is the only platform that enables innovation across a broad family of devices. Developers can target all of these device types with one platform and one store. And stay tuned until later today as our device family expands. Now, since September, we have received a lot of feedback from customers, partners, and press. But the most important feedback has come from our Windows Insider program. We're humbled that 1.7 million have signed up to shape Windows 10 with us. They've installed Windows 10 over 3 million times on a broad spectrum of PCs. This is a testament, I think, to not only the quality of Windows 10 this early, insiders are showing to the program. Collectively, these insiders have shared with us over 800,000 pieces of feedback on over 200,000 topics. And our team is really embracing this feedback and leaning in to this new open development process. And I wanted to let you hear directly from the engineers on the team. The Windows Insider program is a global program. It provides essential feedback directly to Microsoft and directly to the hands of the PMs and developers building the product. We went through the effort to ask questions and give our engineers the capability to get your feedback 
because we want to make the best possible product that we can for you. It will result in a better global product for Windows. Windows insiders are hugely important to us. We love you guys. We see our relationship with insiders as a partnership where we work together to build the best Windows 10 possible. You know, there are 1.5 billion people in the world who use Windows. When we get your feedback, it makes it easier for us to make sure the product matches your expectations. So thank you. We really appreciate the fact that you are giving time out to give us feedback and to help make a difference in Windows, and we truly appreciate your thought. This feedback that you send through the Windows feedback applications, it gets sent to a Microsoft data center, and then we process this into something that's intelligible for engineers. This appears on various dashboards that engineers can use, all the way up to our VPs. They're looking at this on a daily basis, and they hold us accountable. This is really the future of building Windows. We're doing it together. We're getting feedback from 226 different geographies around the world. And we owe it to you to read each one of those comments that you give us, one of those comments that you give us, and to take action. Without you, we wouldn't be where we are today. When we started Windows 10, we had a vision of having our window switcher, so Alt-Tab and Task View. And one of the pieces of feedback we received was people love that, but they thought Alt-Tab was a little too jarring. And so we made a change based on your feedback to make Alt-Tab a little more familiar, but still retain all those benefits. There actually is a real translation between feedback that's given and impact or changes that we're making in the product. We're listening. Thank you for all you have done so far, and um, we will definitely repay your investment with a great release. You're showing us your commitment to Windows. We want you to know that we're committed to you. There simply isn't a path forward for Windows without a direct connection with the customer. The Windows Insider program gives us that connection at an earlier phase than in any other time in the history of Windows. We're co-creating the future of Windows with you. One of the beautiful things about this program is that I kind of feel connected to people in Tokyo who love Windows just as much as I do. This is not just a Redmond thing, this is a global thing. So wherever you are, it's our Windows. To all the insiders tuned in today, a special thank you from everyone on the team. Your feedback and your time are really helping to shape the future of Windows. And if you have not joined, now is the time. Please go to windows.com and sign up for free. So now, I want to take you back to when we were envisioning Windows 10. Windows has always been grounded in the idea that technology should help individuals and organizations do great things. At that time, we identified three areas ripe for innovation and improving our customers' lives. We think of these areas, three areas, as moving windows from our heritage of enabling a single device to what we're calling more personal computing. The first of these areas was mobility of experience. The number of smart devices that families, ourselves, or in the workplace is, just workplace is just exploding all around us. It should be easy to put one device down and pick and continue where you left off. The technology needs to get out of the way and provide mobility of the experience. The second area was trust. In our connected, people care about their privacy, and so do we. So everything we do puts the customer in control, because you are our customer, not our product. And the third, natural interactions. Interacting with technology should be as natural as in interacting with people. Voice, pen, gest gestures, and your gaze should help you get more out of your devices in an additive and intuitive way. The right interaction in the right way at the right time. So I want to share with you two cinemagraphs we created back then during the earliest days of Windows 10. Before we wrote a line of code, we wanted the team to be visualizing the world in which Windows 10 would live and how Windows 10 would add value for our customers. These cinemagraphs inspired us and got us dreaming. First, we envisioned the workplace. There's that explosion of devices, many running Windows, some not. 
And while these individual devices offer value, they struggle to work well together. The apps are different. The content is hard to move around between my devices. And not only my devices, but those of my colleagues and the company. Every meeting starts with a dance about how to project, or ends with this discussion about how do we get meeting notes out or the whiteboard out to everyone involved. The mobility of the experience just isn't there. You should be able to print with a flick or transfer a Skype call with a simple, natural, and intuitive gesture. And businesses need to trust that their corporate data is protected and managed as it moves between all of these devices. We were inspired to bring more personal computing to the workplace. And then at home, we had that same explosion of PCs, phones, tablets, phones, tablets, game consoles, smart appliances, and innovative new devices. Whether doing homework or playing a great game, the opportunity is there to make an experience that is more mobile across the devices. We see a world where you can share that experience across all the devices using ink, voice, gestures, and gaze, making technology really come to life. From work, and younger and younger kids having their own devices. It's important that our customers' privacy is respected and they trust the devices and the experience. We were inspired to bring more personal computing to the home and the workplace to enable our customers to do great things. Now to do this, we need our work in the hands of our customers. But not just our work, but the great work being done by Windows developers. We all know that developers are always looking for their next customer, their next million customers, and we're gonna help them find their next billion customers with Windows 10. Now today, Windows customers are spread across many versions. This fragmentation makes it challenging for developers to delight our customers with applications. So we have been investing heavily in grades as seamlessly as possible, as possible for our customers to create a large, up-to-date customer base for developers. We have helped almost 200 million consumers upgrade seamlessly to the latest update of Windows 8.1. And we have helped over 650 million consumers upgrade seamlessly from Windows 7 to Windows 7. For each of these customers, the, secure, the security of their system improved. They received new capabilities and, abilities and features, making them more productive, enabling them to play new games, enabling them to do more. But the engineer is only the first part. So I'm very excited to announce that for the first year after Windows 10 is available, we will be making available a free upgrade to Windows 10 to all devices running Windows 8.1. And we will also be making available a free upgrade to Windows 10 to all devices running Windows Phone 8.1. And last but not least, for the first year after Windows 10 is available, we will be making available a free upgrade to all of our customers still running Windows 7. Now, this is so much more, though, than a free one-time upgrade. Once a device is upgraded to Windows 10, we will be keeping it current for the supported lifetime of the device, keeping it secure, introducing new features and functionality to our customers over time. In fact, with Windows 10, we think of Windows as a service. In the next couple of years, 
one could reasonably think of Windows as one of the largest internet services on the planet. And just like other internet services, the question, what version are you running, will cease to make sense. This is great for our Windows developers. Not only can they target all device types with one application, PCs, phones, tablets, Xbox, the Internet of Things, but now they can target every single device. Windows makes Windows 10 the most attractive Windows, de Windows development platform ever. And what about the enterprise? We will continue to support the way Windows works today with long-term branches and long-term support. However, the best practice for most enterprises and certainly all daily productivity devices that our customers use will be to directly connect those devices to Windows Update so those devices receive the best security and the best productivity functionality over time as soon as they are available. When you take back and consider the, con the implications of Windows as a service, today really is a monumental day for Windows. Windows as a service is great for consumers, it's great for developers, and it's great for the security of our enterprise customers. Windows 10 is so much more than the latest version of Windows. Windows 10 changes the rules of the game and redefines the relationship between us and our customers. So by now, I'm sure you want to see Windows 10 devices and experiences in action. So I'm going to invite up four of our leaders, four of our leaders to show you more of Windows 10. Joe Belfiore will join us to show you the most productive Windows 10 experiences ever on PCs, two-in-ones, and tab PCs, two-in-ones, and tablets. And for the first time, Windows 10 on a phone.